Guys, in our whole relationship, I've never actually written her a handwritten letter. We've always talked about it. I never do it. What's going on, you guys? Keep me on the camera here. Cindy here. <laughs> right there. And the reason this vlog is starting off without Bridget in the intro is because it's her birthday and we got some stuff to do before we wake her up. Number one, flowers. Number two, presents. Number three, eat all the desserts Cindy brought before she wakes up. Sound good? Sounds delicious. We're just gonna have it now, okay? We brought this thing back out. Looks good. We're trying to figure out a place to put it, Cindy. I'm thinking in that corner in the bathroom. I like it. Guys, let's go wake Bridget up. But first, let's get these flowers taken care of. So I just got Bridget's flowers in the mail. And right here, when you order from 1-800-Flowers, they have a thing that says, a message for you. Oh, it's a message for you. So. I'm like, I don't recall leaving a message, okay? I don't do that kind of thing. So, I pull it out and it says, no card message. <laughs> Way to hurt their feelings, right? It's like, he left me a message. No, he didn't actually. <laughs> Thanks a lot, 1-800-Flowers. You almost put me in the doghouse. Not quite, I got to it before she could. 1-800-Flowers really packed these up haphazardly, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> They're like falling apart. And you know, I ordered these expensive flowers. Because, look at this. One of them freaking broke. Hey, thanks a lot, 1-800 flowers. That's like a $40 rose right here. So, like, I guess I could break it. Oh, God. Damn thorns. Yeah, watch out for the thorns, Michael. They're very unique flowers. Look at this. Yeah. These are really cool, folks. They're like dyed flowers or something. You can even see the dye, like, inside it. If It, would, it won't clear up anyway. Perfectly cut flower. I messed up the last one, so I'm gonna let Cindy handle this. I really the pressure's mess. on. <laughs> yeah, if these fall apart, you better find a new one. <laughs> quick. But like before she wakes up quick. Okay, they got it taped in like this. See, this is why I'd rather go through a florist than the website. Usually they let you a florist bring it to you instead of shipping it. See? <laughs> Ooh. Here they are folks. Bridget's birthday flowers. Look good? Looks good to me. I couldn't have done this. Thank God Cindy was here. <laughs> Guys, here are all her presents. Oh, let's put those right there. Happy birthday, Bridget. And Cindy brought dessert. Take a look. Let's have a look at this. Bridget's favorite. And my favorite. Oh yeah, dirt. dirt. This is like cream cheese and pudding and Oreos and just overall perfection. Let me just go ahead and hold it up. You want to scream her name or something? Or what should we do? Bridget. Bridget. Wake up! It's your birthday. Let's see if the flower. Wake up, birthday in. girl. Hey. Wake up, birthday girl. Here's a flower for you to wake up to. Don't you love it when your mother comes in and wakes you up? <laughs> Just like the good old days. In a minute she's gonna be like, I'm not waking up yet! <laughs> Just like you remember. Bridget used to tell me how her mom would wake her up and Bridget would just go volatile, right? Like, get that out of my room, mom! You like, I gotta censor myself, <laughs> apocalypse. She would freak out, bro. And I'm sure she's done it to me before. Like, Bridget, we gotta go. I'm sleeping! <laughs> Crazy, right, Cindy? Bella's going nuts. Oh, it's those uh, well, teenage days. Happy oh, birthday. It all. Thanks. Wake up. It's been about 20 minutes since we tried to wake Bridget up, you guys. We laughed, thought she was taking a shower, and we came back, and she is still in bed. <laughs> Dude, didn't you think she was showering with Cindy? I thought she'd be ready by now. I don't know. We're like, okay. She was like, I can't take a shower. We're like, okay, let's give her some privacy. And we come back and she's just asleep still. She's the one that told me to be here at noon. She said noon? Yes. I even confirmed it last night. I was like, so you, so you, you still want me there at noon? You had no intentions of waking up at all. She was like, drop your crap off and go. That's what it was. 
I don't think so. We're staying here till she wakes up. You ready, Cindy? I'm ready. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Don't cut your finger on the thorns on this flower like I did. Happy birthday to you. And a flower. It's another one. It's not the same one that you that's missing from there. <laughs> Smells the same, I know. <laughs> Bella's getting some loving on Bridget. Whoa! Hey! Oh my god! <laughs> Bella, there's plenty of Cindy to go around. <laughs> Sheesh. We're getting ready to open some presents, you guys. But I want to show you how beautiful the weather is for Bridget's birthday. Oh my goodness. It's a beautiful morning. It's raining on Bridget's birthday, which means it's going to be more depressing for her. She's going to use it as an excuse to be extra depressed today. Yep. It's a good day. Forget the rain. By the end of the night, you're going to be holding me like a little baby. Okay, you're not I'm that sad. Kidding. You happy today? Let's open some presents. Yeah. <laughs> what is with your mom interrupting like the... She's just very impatient, you know? I'm covering the lens. <laughs> All right, you guys, it is time for Bridget to start opening some presents. Aww. Whole bunches of Rick and Morty oh shirts. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. I don't know if you guys know that we love Rick and Morty. Oh yeah, Pickle Rick! That is awesome. That is awesome! Check this one out, you'll like this one. Your wrapping is so cute. Oh my god! All the Futuramas. Guys, they took Futurama off Netflix. And Bridget was like, no! So I was like, we getting it. Yeah, I was so sad. Now I'm not. <laughs> that is awesome! So funny. <laughs> I know your daughter, Cindy. What is so funny? <laughs> Oh my god! What do you think? Oh my god! Love it? Yes! We can really put it up on a tree. It's. it's... <laughs> I was thinking we could really hang this in our yard somewhere. Definitely, dude! This is so cool! <gasps> oh my god! What's missing? Let's do it. Oh! <laughs> Come here, Mom. <laughs> Holy crap! We just got a Lucille. This is homemade. Oh, that is real barbed wire. Holy crap! This is Lucille. This is a real weapon! Oh, this is, this is very dangerous. Oh, yeah. This thing is Lucille. Your mom actually thought of a really good place to put this. Where? Let's check this out. Gosh. Isn't that cool? Yes. Did I win birthday? Yes. This is the coolest. Oh if this my thing... gosh. So guys, if you break into our house and you get past this, we've got double security. Okay? <laughs> yeah, man. In the form of a barbed wire back covered in blood. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Oh my god, it's so cool. It's the last gift. I hope Bridget's birthday wasn't disappointing. Oh yeah, totally disappointing. I've never written her a letter before. Aww. Read it. Don't cry. It's a letter. Well, now she's gonna make me cry and I haven't even read it. <laughs> it's a poem. So if you guys wanna read it, there it is. You like it? Guys, in our whole relationship, I've never actually written her a handwritten letter. We've always talked about it. I never do it. I love it. Well, happy birthday. So we just found a place to hang the letter that I wrote Bridget. And if you can't read my handwriting, I'll just read it. It says, 
You're my best friend, my other half, the only one that makes me laugh. Sometimes we fight and then get mad, but truth be told, you're all I have. I mean it. See, this life we have is ours alone, so when blanks bad, <laughs> apocalypse, so when blanks bad, I know that I'll be by your side and that you'll always have my back. I love you, smile, don't be sad, I'll always try to make you laugh forever here and that's a fact, I can't imagine how I'd act without you, how you make, without you, how you call me back on path when things are turning black, the times I fight at nights I'm mad at stuff between myself and dad, you're always here, so here's my pack, grow old with me, I'll do it bad. I love it. I love it. All right, Doug, Cindy is here, <laughs> and she has something that she wants to say to you. <laughs> Last week, you had a whole lot of stuff you wanted to say about Cindy. <laughs> I think the time for talking's over. Oh, gosh. <sighs> Got something to say, Doug? <laughs> I'm saying it. I'm ready. Oh, oh my, my God. goodness. Right now. Oh, man. <laughs> Lucille don't play. <laughs> Doug, Lucille is thirsty. <laughs> right now, I am making Bridget's cake which is yellow cake with chocolate icing. She's over there playing Friday the 13th. You guys, it has been a really good birthday. We went out, had a little bit of dinner. We didn't bring the camera. You know, had a little bit of private, intimate dinner. Now she's back. She's playing Friday the 13th. I'm going to be playing with her in a minute. First, cake. It is really hard to ice a cake with one hand. Oh, you are dangerously close to falling, buddy. Oh, okay. I got to do this. I just finished Bridget's cake. You didn't see anything. I just finished Bridget's cake. Here we go. Boom. Looking good. Cake looks delicious. This is the first time I've ever made a cake, you guys, so it could be horrible. Okay, it's where I can't get it out filming. Hold on. Oh, dude. Oh, are you serious? Oh, jeez. I'm mad. Yeah, I'm using a lighter with a pickle on it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bridget. Happy birthday to you. You have to make a wish eventually. What'd you wish for? I'm not telling you. She wished for me to act this nice every day. I know her. No. Yeah, you did. I bet you really did. Well, happy birthday. You got cake. Thank you. You got presents. You're so sweet. Did you have a good birthday? I did. Great birthday. Well, guys, do I have chocolate on my face? No. Hey, that's all right. Guys, right now, Bridget is playing Friday the 13th. And as you can see, nobody is Tommy Jarvis. Nobody is Tommy Jarvis. Watch this. Okay, sounds like you made it up. Oh my God, where did he go? There he is. Folks, are you seeing this? Did you just see that? The ghost of Tommy Jarvis is in this game. Oh my God. Dude! Tommy Jarvis is a ghost! Keep doing it! It's like he's here the whole time or something! Oh, Tommy Jarvis! Wait, don't do it yet! I need a weapon! I need a weapon! Here it is! Oh my goodness! Watch no, this! I don't see him! He's here though! Even Jace wants to see this! See? He missed it! Watch! Spectate from a distance! Crazy! Even Jason's like, what the? Heck? <laughs> oh, oh! There he is! Oh my god! Oh my god! Guys, nobody was Tommy Jarvis, and Jason's killing him! Oh my gosh! Look, point up again. Show the, the characters, Bridget. I just got his gun. Oh my god! Hit up and show them. Oh my god! See, nobody was Look, nobody was Tommy, folks. What in the world? I didn't show all the presents Bridget got you guys because there were so many, but this one I wanted to show. It is a luxury edition of Monopoly, and look how big this is. Like, if I can get it lifted, you can see what it is 
Whoa. Look at this. It is a gigantic game of Monopoly. You see this, Bella? Can you believe it? So fun to play. <laughs> like I feel like that's the kind of game where I have to play it like sophisticated. I'm like, mmm, yes, sipping <laughs> tea. Yes, I'll take boardwalk. Oh my god. Okay, you landed on my hotel. Anyway, Monopoly. Isn't this crazy? Yes. <laughs> it's very crazy. Now I'm gonna go show you guys Lucille. This, my friends, is Lucille. And for those of you who aren't aware, Lucille is the bat from The Walking Dead that Negan has. Now you guys, this is not the toy that The Walking Dead put out. The Walking Dead put out a replica, as they call it, which is pretty much a piece of crap toy, right? This was made on Etsy uh, by these guys. Uh, the link is in the description below if you want to check them out. They're truly fantastic. This is amazing. This thing is real barbed wire. It's a real Louisville slugger. It is made to scale to be exactly the bat from The Walking Dead, and it is terrifying. I'm afraid to even have it there. Is it getting stuck on me? I gotta put this thing away. I just wanted to show it up close so you guys can get an idea of how insane this is, how much work truly went into it. This thing is wild. Clyde, I need you to stay away from this, okay? It's a horrible, dangerous baseball bat. Now, see you staring at him. You just follow it like, I want this. I want the giant dog bone. You can't have it, buddy. It's dead. Oh, God. Please stay away from this. Okay. Putting it up. Bridget just got killed on Jason or something. Okay. No dogs allowed. Come on. Let's go, bud. One of the things Bridget really wanted for her birthday was for her and I to play Friday the 13th together. And that's what we're doing. I'm actually already dead though, so I'm just sort of spectating. I wanted to take a minute before we do the outro to make a message to Bridget. Uh, I'm, first of all, I'm really glad that you had a good birthday. Uh, number two, just want you to know how much I appreciate you and how, how much I love you and respect you and she just knocked Jason down and she's now teabagging him. They're all, they're all teabagging Jason. <laughs> Guys, Bridget, I love you. You're my best friend. I meant every word that I said in that poem for you. Uh, oh, and Jason's getting his revenge for the teabagging. He shouldn't have done it. It's all over. <laughs> Guys, getting out here to do the outro. Bridget, I love you. Uh, I know I know you don't like your birthdays. Nobody likes getting old. I hate my birthdays too. But you're still young. You're still beautiful. You're still vibrant. I love you so much. Guys, give Bridget a follow on Twitter. And I just wanted to say thank you guys for all the messages that you said to Bridget and really, really made her day, really brightened up her day. So guys, thank you so much. We're doing the outro. Bridget, you're everything to me. I love you. Outro. Well, that's gonna be it for today, you guys. Thanks for watching. Bridget, hope you had a good birthday. It's been a really great birthday. Have you been sad at all? No. That's good. You kind of made me not sad. That's what you do to me. Well, except for the letter. Well, that's a different kind of sad, isn't it? Yes. Guys, Bridget's birthday is over. No, it isn't. I still got 10 minutes left of birthday. Okay, guys, I'll be right back. We're going to celebrate this last 10 minutes. She didn't even pay attention. Michael, I'm trying to enjoy my birthday. It's officially midnight, you guys. Now the vlog's over. That's going to be it for today. How was your birthday? It's been a really great birthday. Guys, I don't know if any of you know this, but we have a celebration. Celebration. What is the word I'm thinking of? Birthday cake. No, 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 no. Uh, something people do is... A oh, man. Birthday party? <laughs> Give me... <laughs> no! Uh, <laughs> tradition! Oh! That's the word I'm thinking of. We have a tradition to let our birthdays last the rest of the month, which... <laughs> For me, is really great because my birthday is on the second. <laughs> She's got another five days of birthday left, you guys. Yeah, I got another five days of birthday left. Guys, we're getting out of here. Thanks for watching. Like. Subscribe. Favorite. Follow on everything, Bridget West. And happy birthday. Thank happy, you. Happy birthday. Wait. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support on my horrible day. Horrible? That was great. It was horrible at the start. It's great from the start. No, it, it was sad when I first woke up. But then we were right in front of you. I was still sad. Love you.